Well, since last time you were here, I interviewed Dan Pena. Uh, are you familiar with Dan? Yeah, I know Dan. Okay. Um, he said he coached 25 billionaires over the, the course of his life, and he talked about some of the common traits. What do you think is consistent in terms of personality type? Oh, easy. First of all, 98% of the high performers on the planet have one thing in common, they're introverts. Bill Gates is an introvert, Warren Buffett's an introvert, Leon, uh, Elon Musk is an introvert, blah, blah, okay. Only 2% are loud mouth alpha males like me, okay? The only, but the, both the introverts and the uh, uh, alpha males focus obsession, like OCD. I mean, laser beam focus. Yeah. They, they, you know, they would rather, there's a black hip hop guy, I forget his name, uh, that says, uh, unless you want success like you want oxygen in your lungs, uh, the, uh, and I've been rich and I've been poor and there's no comparison. I mean, uh, uh, Elon, now he takes it back. He said uh, 15, 18 years ago, I would rather commit seppuku, which is Harry Carey, kill myself than be poor and not successful. Okay. So it's really the laser beam focus. Correct. Uh, from your point of view, what is the trait of a billionaire? Look, I, I've never coached any billionaires, so I, I hung out, I've hung out with one for about ninety days. Um, they definitely they definitely think about money differently. You know, there's almost this throwaway kind of like, okay, I'm not worried about that anymore. Um, did Dan name any of the uh, the billionaires that he's coached? Uh, he he did not. No. Yeah, it's a lot of billionaires, dude. I think there's only like, I mean, that means he's like, he's touched like, you know, a, a third or something of all the billionaires on the planet. Yeah, it's a lot of billionaires. Yeah. So so um, common traits: uh, successful, can do attitude. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm not gonna quit. Willing to go bankrupt, not acting like middle class people. They never act like middle class. Like they don't care where they live, dude. They're like, I live, I live wherever I gotta live. Um, dropouts, uh, courage, fucking never quit no matter what. Willing to change and adapt. Don't listen to the common uh, everyday person. Uh, go into debt. Dump their retirement accounts if they ever had one. Like, burn burn the midnight oil. Work a hundred hour weeks. Yeah, I mean you're basically listing out the the things you mentioned in the 10x book, and uh, I, I want to get to that. But, hey, uh, look, I didn't. I haven't coached billionaires, but but I, I read I read about enough of them to say, hey, what is the common trait in these guys? You yeah. know, the Elon Musk talks about working a hundred hours. Uh, Warren Buffett study. He reads four hours a day. Look, I, if I go out, out on the street corner right now and ask people, "Hey, do you like to read books?" Most of the people be like, "Oh, I don't have time to read. I don't like to read. And I don't want to read." But here's the old man, third richest guy in the world, says, "Hey, I read four hours a day. Might be something people want to do if they haven't given up on their financial security." Right, right. I mean, my, my whole financial life is really based on Warren Buffett. Yeah. yeah, I try. I try to read as much as possible. Um, well, since our last interview, I, I did a little bit of research, and I found that you did an interview with Jordan Belfort, aka yeah, yeah. the wolf, the Wolf of Wall Street. And this in turned into the equivalent of like a rap beef <laughs> with finance guys afterwards. Is that is that a fair <laughs> assessment of what happened? Well, he's not a finance guy. Well, I mean, a financial he guy. He's not a financial guy. He's a fucking he criminal. Be. He's a okay. convicted criminal that didn't pay back the people he ripped off. And he's a fucking rat. On top of being a criminal, he's a rat. Turned on his own people to reduce his, uh, his time. So he's a criminal, ripped off a bunch of people, admits that he ripped off a bunch of people, never paid the people back, and ratted, and ratted out his boys. So you can't give him, uh, dude, he, 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 he operates out of a little apartment with six interns. Did he 1099s? Hawking a $495 product. That don't sound like a banker to me. 
Yeah, I actually looked up his net worth. Uh, Z- online is, yeah, minus thirty mi- million. Minus one hundred million. <laughs> well, minus one hundred million. Yeah, you gonna take advice from a guy that's fucking negative one hundred million? Would you, sir? Your guy well, shooting you this, on, huh? I mean, you you went on a show. Yeah, I did. Why? It was set up with my staff in Miami. It was and it was a bad, probably a bad idea. But you know, I'm like, let me just go in there and fucking challenge him to a cage match. Well, uh, you said in the interview. He was talking about the real world, and you said, in your real world, everyone is using drugs. In my real world? In his real world, real world, everyone's using drugs. Oh, yeah. I mean, you saw that in the movie. Yeah. I mean, the whole movie was pretty much him, him being high the whole time. Dude, dude look, if um, there wasn't a movie about that, about his life story, we wouldn't know who the dude is. Like, what else is there? Is that, is that your claim to fame? You know, yeah. I don't want that to yeah. be my legacy. Okay, I got 185 I employees. I'm trying to go to a thousand. He keeps asking me a question about how to sell a pen, and I'm like, dude, I, I'm over that story. Like you're 50 years old, you got to elevate the game at some point. Ask a new question. How do you buy a pen company? How do you replace a pen? How do you make sure a, a pen's never sold again on this planet? Elevate the game, son. Otherwise, you're going to die an old salesman Mm. with a negative net worth of a minus 100 million. (laughs)